I'm joined now by one of the senators who may be sitting in an impeachment trial. Democratic Senator from Oregon, Ron Wyden. Senator, in recent days, we have heard uh, more members of the Senate beginning to talk about this potential trial. We heard both Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Minority Leader Chuck Schumer talk about calling different witnesses. The president has weighed in. Uh, what are you hoping to see in terms of a timeline here if a trial were to go to the Senate? And what are you looking to get out of it? I just came from a town hall meeting in Newburgh, and of course, folks were asking about it. And I said, my bottom line is I'm a potential juror. I want to make sure there is a just outcome, not a political outcome. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we have a lot of Oregonians here at home who've gotten to see you over the last few days. What are some of the issues that people are focusing on here uh, that are removed from what's happening in Washington, D.C.? Uh, certainly health care and trade are right up at the top. I have a bipartisan proposal with Senator Grassley. The House passed a partisan uh, bill. And what we've got to do is we've got to go after this price gouging. I mean, you look at insulin, for example. Insulin prices have gone up 13-fold in recent years, and the drug isn't 13 times better. It's the same uh, drug. And so what Senator Grassley and I say on a bipartisan basis, and this is what folks have been talking to me about, is if you're price gouging, if you charge more than inflation, we're going to, in effect, uh, force you to give up those uh, subsidies until you bring the prices down. There's a lot in the realm of health care. We're talking about trade, too, with the uh, USMCA finally kind of taking some final shapes here. And there's been some criticism from the president and his party that uh, Democratic lawmakers have been so focused on the impeachment process that we're not getting other things done in Washington. Are, are you going to be able to get a lot of this through at the end of the year? Well, one out of five jobs in Oregon depends on international uh, trade. The trade jobs often pay better than do the non-trade jobs because they've got a kind of higher value added component. I was involved with Senator Brown working with business and labor in the Trump administration for the enforcement provisions to actually make sure that trade cheats couldn't rip us off. I think now we've got the support to make it happen for Oregon, uh, for agriculture, for tech, a number of our key industries. This can be a real plus. And I know those are some of the areas that you're going to be touching on tomorrow when you speak at a, a leadership summit. Also looking at uh, how we can incentivize women in business here in the state. What are you working on? I'm going to focus on health care. I'm going to focus on housing. Housing right up at the top of the priority list. But I'm also going to talk about how the economy has changed and how particularly women in communities of color haven't had access to capital. And I'm going to lay out some specific ideas for turning that around. We can't leave all those folks behind and expect to prosper. A rising tide doesn't lift all the boats. We've got to focus on their needs. All right. We'll be looking forward to those comments tomorrow before you're back on a plane to Washington, D.C. Thank Senator, you. Thank you, and have a wonderful holiday. You as well.